you know, he or she, her destiny has been locked. Mm. And then she's crying, she okay. needs help. Can a spiritual person open that for that, that person, either a male or female? Yes, he can open it for that person. When they use parlor, the spiritual person will investigate. Where is that parlor located? He will go and look for that parlor and break it off. What of it is thrown in the sea or uh, excuse me to say toilet, a manhole, mm. and you can't find it. Mm. How would you look for it and break it? Good. So that one you cannot look for it. Then you need to uh, you need to substitute or you need to get other alternative to that problem and solve it. And you, the spirit sitting on the pallock that they lock, you need to spoil that spirit. Okay. Or you need to invoke that spirit. Give that spirit what it needed. Okay. That is why Christianity goes beyond what we see today. You are in the church clapping, clapping, clapping. You will clap 99 days. Nothing happens. Because that spirit created by God, God said, I will give you angel of death. That angel is sitting there. God doesn't send him. Until he, God wants to kill, then he will send that angel. Okay. So God also had bad angel. Yeah. That case, I know that. Yes. So God created everything. He realized that it's good and he perfected it. So you have to invoke that spirit. He tells you what he needed. And you give it to that spirit. And the pallock will be locked, but that spirit is off from that pallock. Then you unlock, you, 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 you do a sign, you lock it here, okay. another one, you open it here, then the person's destiny is being released. Wow. Which means an ordinary person cannot reverse that thing for such a person going through that problem. The dangerous aspect is if you're ordinary and you want to reverse it, you are reversing, maybe you will be locked yourself in addition. <laughs> yes. Spiritual. So if you're not careful, you look so if you're under you pure sickness, the sickness comes to attack you. Yes. Yes. It is not easy. Somebody destiny is locked and you say you are locking it. Oh, you end up locking yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Experienced person. Yeah. Spiritual list, we are there level level. Yeah. Who has done that one? Who has the 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 the, the mandate? Okay, to do that experience, who have done over and over that does that. Okay, yes. no, not just any spiritual person, any prophet no. or any spiritual person no. that that can do. No, unless you have experience, you are experienced in that kind of work before. Exactly. Okay, that's what they say. Achediano, you walk a rural. They are yes. different gifts. Yes, yes. It's Every, level. Yes, it's level. That is it. Not just anyone. Somebody will even do it for you. Will end up adding another problem on top of what you carry. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is it. Me, if you come to me to pray for you, if I'm a carpenter behind, you don't know. Yeah. You receive that carpenter gift and the rest on top of what you need. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point? Yeah. It's real. It's real, and people don't know. This is a man of God. Pray for me. Do this for me. If behind the camera, I'm a bad person. I do something you don't know. I pray and then invoke something on you. You take it the good and the bad all. Um, it doesn't select. Okay. So you realize that you begin to perform certain things that you don't need. It. So if you want a spiritualist to do something for you, background check must be done. I've read it before. If you think you are in a problem, so eh, frustration, you run to anybody at all. You carry problem here, tomorrow you carry here another day. And by the end of the day, you just lie down. The problem is too much. Daddy, in case you have a problem that is um, maybe somebody's life or some aspect of uh, some special area of the person has been locked. Maybe the finances of the person mm. or the business aspect of the person yes. has been locked. Mm. And maybe um, it has been locked by effective spirits yes. somewhere. Yes. And then a person, either being a lady or a man, comes to a church mm. and then uh, maybe something has been reviewed. Mm. Your destiny has been locked somewhere. Okay. As they pray for the person, mm. 
Can the padlock be open just like that? <laughs> because you go, they say pray, mm. pray, pray. Mm. Yeah, be your padlock, no, be your. Yeah. Uh, does it unlock just easily, or you need spiritual direction, or you need some authority to do it for the person, or the person can just pray like they will be ushered and or they will be uh, oriented and then they will be led and say pray and pray and it gets open. Okay, Shorty, our voice and our tongue has power. So if they say pray, and the leader, they call something Clonos and Kairos, time and season. It is meeting the season of that spirit on the panel. And at that time, that spirit doesn't perform. And the commander or the, the, the pastor or the spiritualist in charge, who is leading you to pray, it has certain authority on the tank, and he commanded it, it can work. Oh, okay. But it is not always, it is only 30. Okay. And even if it works today, within time, the parlor must come back to its work again. Oh, yes, even if it works. Okay, so why, like. Why did it come back again? Or why did they return? Or why did they reach it? In the spiritual realm, your voice is recognized by heaven and power, authority. Yeah. Because there is tongue, a power on your tongue. So when you speak that, that power must be open. Now, we have order in the spiritual realm. That spirit, maybe your level is higher than that spirit. So he needs to obey you. But he also needs to carry his work. So he will obey you for 21 days or number of times. When you stop the prayer, the, the, the kind of prayer, it, it, it will return working. Yes, even if you stop, the person will have freedom for some time. Then you will see that things are locked again. That's why people pray in church and they realize that this is going smooth and it blocks again. Okay. So spiritual thing, they use their hands, practical practice to do it. So you have to also do practical to do it. That means you going there and being ushered to pray or uh, led to pray and then you pray and certain things go on. You need direction as, as yes, well. Yes, prayer is a first aid. Let me say it's a first aid. Okay. It's just a first aid that you... So if you're a pastor, you just pray. It doesn't give any direction. No. It's just a first aid. It's just a first aid. You can use it completely. So... As you pray and maybe the thing stops for a while and then it comes back. When you pray again and then you add maybe padlock direction to it, it is going to open forever. Yes, it's going to open forever. Oh, okay. Now